Hey there everybody, I'm Ashley Conrad and welcome to The Daily Muddy. So it's no secret that Quincy has a Jason Priest problem or a dilemma or whatever you want to call it. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that he wears ladies lingerie. That's his choice, even if I don't find it very pleasing to the eye. What I'm talking about is the harassment of our school kids, the warning signs slash cry for help slash ticking time bomb that we all seem to just be watching from the sidelines. But what can we as a community do about this? Joining me now is Muddy River News publisher Bob Goff. Bob, can you give us some context here? Well, as we uh, record this, uh, you will see the day it map. I don't like mine now. Go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Joining me now is Muddy River News publisher Bob Goff. Bob, can you give us some context here? Well, um, if you read David Adams' story um, along with uh, this report, you'll see that Jason Priest has made a court appearance. And there were some actions on State Street last night outside his residence um, on Wednesday night, I should say. So it looks like the police are taking some action. I've spoken to my sources at City Hall and my sources in the police department who have said that, yes, they are trying to consider some ways they can take care of this because, you know, every time that, you know, Mr. Priest shows up at a city council meeting, you know, these huge disruptions and, and all that. And again, I am a, I'm a huge First Amendment free speech sure. advocate. Absolutely. You can get up there, you can do whatever, but there, there are limits. You can't yeah. yell fire in a crowded theater. Right. You can't, you know, and again, when he's up there and then he starts dropping racial slurs and F-bombs and all that, that's, and you know, and not said in a joking manner, said sure. in a hurtful manner. Well, in an official environment where we're, you know, yeah, I mean, not to waste tax dollars. Right. right. Yeah, but yeah. I think, you know, people, people have the right and should address their government. If they Absolutely. are upset at a council meeting and it's like, hey, you guys are screwing this up. Mm -hmm. And and I thought the thing that was, especially at this week's council meeting, you had mother of a young man who died in his house and you had in Jason's house in Jason Priest's house okay. yes then you had another a neighbor who just talked about the constant fighting noise everything that happens in that house also this week I've had numerous other people from that neighborhood who said yes this is a real problem okay. and then if you looked at our story on our Facebook page these people you know again at one point I think people just felt sympathy okay he's a little odd or, or just kind of live and let live you know yeah. that's kind of how I am and I, and I even experienced that with him myself and said you know if, if he's as long as he's not bothering my kid I'm I'm okay with him but the minute he starts harassing her mama yeah. bear is gonna come out yeah. luckily I haven't had to deal with that but yeah. I'm sure some parents have no question not, about it. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to have a sign that says, you know, whatever, that's fine. Again, free speech. You can yeah, stand on the sure. sidewalk and have a sign that says, you know, the, you don't like the police or whatever. But again, when you're approaching kids and you're doing that sort of thing, and then you just look at, you know, the police have talked about the, the drugs that have been on his premises. Mm -hmm. And again, we've, we've had multiple fatalities and overdoses right. there. Again, at one point, is it enough? Right. And, you know, does somebody else have to die when this happens? And apparently, sure. you know, from what we understand, there is action that's being taken, and uh, you'll be able to read more about that soon on Money River News. Yeah, I'm sure there. I'm sure there are some loopholes or some kind of. I mean, there's got to be something that that can be done to at least protect himself, if not from, yeah. you know, the wrong parent who comes across him at the wrong time. I mean, that's yeah. A, I mean, again, the, the mother who spoke at the council meeting the other night. You know, it was heartbreaking. Yeah. But. What's to stop the next parent from just showing up at his house and doing harm to right, the guy? Right. You know, I don't think anybody wants that, but I think you know we have to look at this in a way that, you know, that's going to be for the community's best interest. Sure. Sure. And again, I am, you know, I'm I'm a libertarian as can be. I can live and let live, all that stuff. But mm -hmm. it, there does come a point where something has to be done. I think right. we've reached that point here. Sure. For the safety of of the community and for him. I mean, Absolutely. There's, there's got to be something. So, yeah, bottom line, something needs to be done. Well, and it looks like there's going to be, and I can't read all about it on Muddy River News. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Thanks for chatting with me. Hmm? Coming up next, we'll uh, talk about our busy June in Q-Town. There's a lot going on, so stay tuned.
Play is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. A great night's sleep starts at Harvey's Furniture. Harvey's is your home for industry-leading, handcrafted mattresses from Bemco, Spring Air, and Chatham and Wells. Twin, full, queen, and king, we have a full selection of in-stock mattresses to fit your needs. No waiting, get it today, and as always, free delivery. You deserve a better night's sleep. Harvey's Furniture, our home, your home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy Home Improvement Store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. And welcome back. On a lighter note, June in the queue is busy, busy, busy. How busy? Well, this weekend we have not one, but two fests. German Fest in South Park and June Fest at St. Dominic School on Columbus Road. German Fest is tonight and tomorrow, while June Fest is Saturday only. Next weekend, Blues in the District kicks off Friday night. Muddy River News is one of the sponsors, so we'll be there with swag, merch, whatever you want to call it. Be sure to stop by our table and say hey. We'll be in the northwest corner of the park across from tiramisu so you can go grab an early dinner with roberto and Ilya, and then you can come listen to some great music that's blues in the district on friday then saturday june 11th is the saint francis picnic which is always a favorite especially a favorite of mine and then that rolls right into the return of quincy grand prix that weekend we'll talk to steve eyinger next week about the grand prix and also the quincy derby formerly known as soapbox derby which is going to be held on june 18th June 18th is also the inaugural Muddy River Showdown All-Star Basketball Game at John Wood, which is brought to you by Advanced Physical Therapy and Blessing Orthopedic Group. That's Matt Shuckman's baby, so we'll hear from him about that later this month. Pepsi Little People's Golf Tournament is on June 20th and runs through the 22nd. This has been a great event for kids and for Quincy as a whole for a very long time. And we'll have our final Fest of June in Washington Park with Q-Fest which has artists and artisans from across the Midwest showing off their works. I always end up buying some really cool stuff there when I go, so be sure to check it out. With all this cool stuff happening, I don't want to hear anyone say that there's nothing to do around here this month. Have a great festing weekend all, and I'll see you here next week with more Daily Muddy.